Hello, I'm Cheryl Jacobs, and welcome to our Kids Party Characters podcast. Please subscribe below. And today we're going to talk about how to make rule following fun for your family. So you likely seen some version of family rule, rule sign on sale at a craft store or a craft fair and or displayed at a friend's house or maybe you have one of your own in your own home. While such signs are fun, it's a fun way to decorate, odds are that people who have ever looked at this piece of art as a family contemplated what the rules mean to them and talked about how the rules should be followed and forced and enforced within their own family. Chances are, whether or not you have a family rule sign on display somewhere in your house, your family doesn't have a set of rules that they agreed upon and follow. So coming up with your own set of family rules is an effective way to set expectations from the time your children are young to mediate disagreements among siblings as well. So next time you're in search of a way to spend a little family time together, developing your own set of family rules is a good project for a rainy day. You might get a few groans at first, but here's how you can turn this into a fun family project. Explain the process. If your family isn't already familiar with the family rule style of, of pictures, browse online and, and show them what you're talking about. Tell them that your, your idea is to create the Smith, or whatever your family's name is, set of family rules so that every, everyone can agree on what's important to the family. You can get numerous ideas from online and it's real easy to find on there. So if you already have a family rules picture hanging on a wall, you can start from there. You can go through each rule and talk to everyone if, it's, if that's important to your family or it, des it deserves a place on your new family, personalized family rules list. So brainstorm your family rules. You can start with a bank blank piece of paper and markers have each family put their rules on each page so that you can put it into your personalized family rules picture. So make this like a fun, make a fun discussion out of it. What's important to each person of the family and obviously help the younger ones put together their, their ideas into words. And just because something on pa is on a piece of paper, it doesn't mean that it has to go into the final product. At this point, at this point, you're just getting ideas. So not everyone has to agree on everything that's written down here. So at the end, compile the final list. So once you spend a good amount of time brainstorming and everyone's had a chance to figure out and write down their ideas through a piece of paper, just group the ones that are similar and take it from there. And your goal is to compile a, li a final list to make sure that they're general enough that everyone can agree on them and it'd be easily applied. Your kids will need heavy guidance from you at, at this step most likely. So de determine the ones that can be gr grouped together and summarize them in a few words and say something like, it looks like from reading these that respecting each other's space is important so that everyone would agree that that particular rule is important and should go on the final list. So as you're thinking about how to summarize everyone's idea into general rules, think, think about what the family values are important to you because that's what's really, what, that's really what you're trying to establish here. Your final list can be as long or as short as you want, but probably around seven to 10 is a good reasonable amount. And then decide how you're going to memorize, memorialize all this into your family rules. You can display it somewhere so that it's easy to remind your kids and to discuss them when, when, a, when a rule is broken or something is well done. Or if you're a little bit crafty and you want to give, a, you can give this a, a try to make something. You can, you can get a piece of, of canvas, a block of wood from your local craft store, and then you can paint it on your own wall and it can be your next rainy day project. 
But for most of us, this won't turn out to be super professional and that's okay. Um, but it's more about giving the meaning to each, mem each of the members of the family. You can even do something as simple as writing it on a piece of paper and hang it onto your refrigerator. And this is an easy way that you can change the rules or update the rules as, as things go on. So once you've had a chance to start living by these family rules for a while and your confidence that you captured, your family's belief system, you can even custom order them your own professionally uh, made family rules sign online. So instead of the family rules, it can say something like the Smith family rules. And then this is the list that, that, that everyone will follow. And then make sure that you enforce these rules. So you can always remind your kids if they're breaking a rule, like say it's refusing to put their toys away that, they didn't, that it goes against rule number whatever, or if they're doing something that's good and you want to reward them, you can also use this to encourage your children. So this also helps your, your children to set big goals in their lives, and it also helps them to, to cope with the failures that they may have. And finally, you can use this family rules to mediate sibling rivalries or s disputes. When an argument breaks out, you can say that it goes against rules such and such, and use this as a basis for resolving things. It also helps like if you make the rules fun too. Remember what you're trying to do here is when you're trying to instill family values that your, your kids can carry on with them forever. So one idea is to keep like a tip jar or a big jar somewhere where, where if a rule is broken, then they have to put a quarter in the jar or something like that. And then you can save that money towards a family outing or a purchase that they may want to, be, may want to get down the road. So our goal here at Kids Party Characters, hopefully that gives you a good idea of how to start instilling positive ideas into your child that won't feel too boring or grown up. And you can obviously modify this activity, build off of it, whatever works for your family. At kidspartycharacters.com, we believe in the magic of childhood and how important it is to set up your children for a happy and successful life by instilling positive values and beliefs in her from a very young age. When it's time to live by your family rules that have to do with happiness and fun, we're just what you're looking for here at kidspartycharacters.com with a Kids Party Characters Party. We have over 200 characters for your children to, to to select from and if you have a special order as long as it's it's far enough in advance we can even special order a character that your child may love and all of our actors all of our actors are portrayed by trained actors who are going to put on a show for you and your you and your guests and your children and we also have face painting balloon twisting cotton candy machines bouncy houses so much more so visit us at kidspartycharacters.com to see which package is right for your next party and make sure that you connect with us on Kids Party Characters at, on Facebook.com slash Kids Party Characters NY. Again, I'm Cheryl Jacobs. Thank you so much for listening to our Kids Party Characters podcast and make sure you subscribe below.